auto flat in this video i will show you how to create a very simple app with the help of which you can send sms so i have created one brand new project here with the name sms demo and we have one xml layout where i have added this edit text and put it put the id as main sms field id and for the image for this button send sms i have put the id as main sms send button id you can use any other id but i am using this too you can see this is the main sms field ID and for this send sms button we have this id main sms send button id actually there are two methods to implement a message sending app the first one is that your app will open the default app of your phone with the help of which you can send sms and the second method is using directly your app you don't need to use the default app of your phone but in this tutorial i am going to use the default app with the help of which i will be able to send sms first the user will have to type the sms here in our app and when he will press the send button then the default app will be called and he, and he will be able to send the sms by entering the number here he will be able to, he will have to write the sms so let's get started here and first i want to create the reference variable for the two views that is these two views this is one view and this is one view so for edit text i want to write it as uh, sms field all right let's take it like that and for the button and button all right and then we have to find the id sms field equal to find view by id this method will return the object java object corresponding to the two views this will return this will return this find view by id here r.main.sms will return the or java object for this and it will store here and for the button also we have to create like that so here i have send button all right equal to find view by id and r.id.sms send button id all right and then let's use the set on click listener method when the user will click on the button then the code here the code inside this curly braces will be executed this is the implementation of set on click listener here uh, i am using this is the method of this button and we have to pass here our class our class reference variable our class object this is our class our class implements on click listener method you we are using here uh, anonymous inner class method and here we have to take the help of intent class intent is a special class with the help of which we can move from one activity to other activity or one app to another app here we will move from our app to the sms sending app default app so intent dot action send oh not for action send we have to yes we have to view the action action view because we want to view the uh, default sms app so we have to write it action view it is a static method of string of intent dot class 
see we have this under the class and we have this action view as final screen we can go to that intent on java class by holding this control button and then clicking on any one of this you can go to the class by just clicking there let's say to the app component activity class you want to do so we can do it. and then we have to set data so intent dot set data we have one method and here we have to pass the uri uri dot parse this is a method of uri this this is uri class you can see uri is a class abstract class and here we have this parse this is a method of uri dot java class and here we have to write like this to send sms sms to we have to write this and then and then we have to concatenate the phone number here to get the phone number uh, in this case we don't need any phone number so we can directly write it as if you don't need any phone number in this case we are not using the phone number so let's first use the phone number so to get the phone number what we have to do So for to get the phone number we have to use this plain text right here the user will have to enter the phone number so just create it fast and let's see it. i want to delete this then you can see one warning it is showing content description something it is showing i don't want to read it now and if you if you want to remove this warning you can what you can do is that you can add one hint here let's say i have type sms and tar phone number we have i have already created one string resource and i write it there and then we id for that so let's say phone uh, main <coughs> number id right here the user will have to enter the phone number and we have to concatenate the phone number here so to get concatenate the phone number to get the phone number first we have to create the reference variable and i want to call it as call it as number so number equal to find view by id find view by id r dot id dot sorry for that it is not the but field i want phone number field id right oh, i want this main number id this is the you can see here <coughs> main number id i have put the id there and then what here i have to do i have to concatenate the phone number so number dot get text dot to string as a string we have to concatenate then i have to put intent dot set a uh, put extra and here i have to write sms underscore body you cannot change this string these are predefined string so you have to write there write that and here we have to write the body of the sms to get the body of the sms i want to i have to get the body of the sms from this field and we have this id as main sms field id and we have this sms field so from sms field i have to get the message so sms field dot get text dot to string and then the back start activity then it pass the intention this will start the activity and now our code is ready and we can run the app now so to run the app i will use the actual device and here i am using the visor app so we have to wait for the visor app 
so let's wait for that again I am explaining first we are creating the intent object and then action view since we want to view the SMS send SM, uh, our default SMS app and then we have to write this string SMS2 is default you cannot send this and then we are concreting it in the number and then SMS body and SMS field start activity then and I am using here visor app so you can see this is the visor app you can get it from the website just search on google visor app you will be able to get and here i am using this actual device with the help of this with the help of this visor app you can connect your actual device and you can see it in your monitor and let's run the app it shows sometimes some ads and what you can do otherwise instead of if you don't want to use this visor app then you can do one more thing but at that case you will not be able to see the screen on the pc so to do that thing what we have to what you have to do only just have to enable the US, usb debugging option in your device then you will be able to run the app in your actual device directly and you can see the app is ready now let's write some phone number and type some message and send and something went wrong and the mistake is there is that uh, we have to put one semicolon here if you don't have semicolon don't put this semicolon then it will not work and let's run it in I think in this case in this time this time it should work and in for this app you don't have to take any permission from your manifest file you can see I don't have any permission here and let's see whether it will work or not let's enter some phone number and types of messages right and you can see it's it asks to use any of the two default sms app i'm using these messages and you can see here we have this phone number and we have this message and we can directly send this but i'm not going to send this now you can do that and that's all about this sending message app thanks for watching